Viewer be warned, massive spoilers for Mandalorian ahead, if you couldn't tell by the title or the thumbnail. So let's get right into it. This is Exasperated Nerd Explains. The second season of Mandalorian has concluded, and the post credit scene has set up the third season. Or at least that's how I took it. Some people are saying, oh look, Boba Fett has a spin-off series coming out. No, he doesn't. He will be the titular Mandalorian in the third season. They are going to make this an anthology series. Do you really think they'll have a show called The Book of Boba Fett? Nope, nope, nope. Works way better as part of an anthology series. Now why do I think this? Well, let's go through some reasons. It says The Book of Boba Fett is coming out in December of 2021. Which just so happens to be the announced time for Season 3 of The Mandalorian. And I know there's a lot of Star Wars coming, but nothing else is scheduled to come out in 2021, so I don't think they would release two series simultaneously. Also, if it was going to be its own series, they would have just announced it with all the other shows at the Investors Day meeting. Investors don't care about spoilers. And at that time, we would have just had the title, so it could have been a prequel or a sequel to his current appearances and not have had an impact on the season. And let's face it, the story of The Mandalorian up to this point has been Din and the Child. That story has concluded, at least for now. There is not a clear future for his character anymore. Sure, he is still isolated from his Death Watch brethren, and you've got the Bo-Katan Darksaber issue to sort out, but the primary thrust of the story we have been watching has concluded. And I do think this Boba Fett storyline will probably be one season, maybe two max, so when the next season comes afterwards, it may be the Book of Bo-Katan, or the Restoration of Mandalore. At this point, I really do think there will be a season coming up that stars Bo-Katan, and will probably bring back our original Mandalorian either in conflict or over the Darksaber, or as an ally. I don't think our Mando story is complete, and maybe he will find a way into the Boba Fett show too, as he's shown himself to be a capable bounty hunter, or at least fighter to Boba Fett. He hasn't done much hunting lately. I think Pedro Pascal will be back, but next season is all about Boba Fett. I also think you're going to have to have another season where Baby Yoda and Mando reunite. Either that or canonically, Baby Yoda is killed by Kylo Ren. I will give my life to protect the child. Many months later. <laughs> and this season has already laid a lot of groundwork to bring Boba Fett into focus and even redeem him in the eyes of some fans who thought he went out like a chump or never thought twice about the character. You got to see Boba Fett fight multiple times and even fight without the armor. Delighting fanboys like myself who have always had to deal with other fans criticizing the character saying things like, Boba Fett isn't a real character, he's just his armor. He's defenseless without it. How about some light bludgeoning with a gaffy stick to the face? Does that change your mind, Kyle? Who's laughing now? <sighs> I digress. This season has also shown him to be a man with honor, keeping his word to Mando to help retrieve the child, even given the extreme circumstances. Although, they mostly reduced his role to that of taxi service after his grand entrance. The setup in this post credit scene of Boba Fett taking over Jabba's old palace is intriguing, as I really don't know where they plan to go from there. In the original canon that is now Legends, he became Mandalore and led the Mandalorians, but it seems pretty clear this interpretation of the character has no interest in that. It could be he has some unfinished business on Tatooine. We don't know what happened in the five years between Return of the Jedi and this show. He may be out for vengeance for those who wronged him? Or maybe he owes a debt to some allies who nursed him back to health. Maybe he just wants to be a gangster. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. And he thinks taking over Jabba slash Fat Bib Fortuna's dealings is the best way to accomplish that. Who knows, they brought back Luke, maybe he wants vengeance on Han Solo for sending him into the Zarlacc. Bring back a de-aged Han Solo too. Why not? Maybe he will even go after Luke as the last Jedi, still being angry at them for killing Jango. And then he could run to Din as an opponent. There are a lot of ways the next season could go, but I am excited. 
Anyways, do you think I'm right, or do you think the third season of Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett are two separate shows? Let me know in the comments. What do you think will happen with this series going forward? Please like this video and share it with others. Thanks for watching. Bye.